In this small land bordered by Israel and Syria, it's a land of contrasts. Sunny lowlands, snowy mountains. As far as I can gather, this is the, the first mountain bike tour to the Lebanon ever. And most probably the first bike tour for a good 15, 20 years. Lebanon has seen its share of troubles through the centuries. There's deep political divisions. And until the 70s, we had the best life on earth. The financial situation was extremely good. People are either Christian or Muslim, either Shia or Sunni. Or, I mean, there is 18 uh, uh, official communities in Lebanon. Romans, Arabs, the Crusaders, Turks, the French, and the Allied forces, all who pass this way. This is the Bekaa Valley. This is the derelict house where I slept last night. Obviously, there's no hotels around here. So if you're an independent traveler, you pretty much got to make your own way. Beautiful mice. She got into my bag, so I got to close them. Not a good idea. And I was working up my gunfire last night as well. Good for you hunters. You can't backfire, you never know. But it sounded like gunfire to me. On the black market, the dollar is worth 90,000 Lebanese pounds. Uh, I'm Bassam Imad. I was cycling from my village, Deir al-Ahmar, near the Baalbek, and I was going up to Ayun Urgush, to, to the mountains. I, I met uh, two lovely cyclists, uh, Omar and Joshua. Uh, I met them in Rabia just before the Ayun Urush when where there is a lot of water. And uh, I was telling them that uh, cycling in Lebanon is, is very beautiful and it's not as dangerous as people have their minds. I'm currently in Lebanon. Omar uh, kindly invited me out here and we're heading up to the Cedars. About 2,000 meters above sea level, we met in Rotterdam in the Netherlands when I was uh, cycling back from the transcontinental last year. He very kindly uh, let me sleep on his couch. Yeah, I just decided that I wanted to come back to, to Lebanon. I, that's the home country of my father. And I always wanted to come here with a bike. And then I, I thought, like, who's, like, who's the most suited person to invite? Uh, with me in this uh, adventure and like yeah the, uh, immediately like the first person that popped into my mind was Josh but yeah we managed to to find uh, a time and uh, yeah that suited us both and uh, yeah like uh, at the moment like I'm just really happy that he took me up on my offer I'm looking forward to exploring Lebanon for the next seven days and uh, visiting some of the sites that my dad went to and actually going to where he proposed to my mom Omar, there's no number for eight. I, there is no one to enforce the rules. I don't know. It's sketch. Apparently the um, cedar trees close at 6.15pm. Uh, so, and it's now 6.25, so we just missed out on seeing some trees. Who knew that you could uh, close some trees? But um, what we're going to do now, Omar? Yeah, now we're gonna, just going to like find like a, I don't know, like a, a way around it. Maybe we can still see like um, yeah, some like... Yeah, from above, some like uh, some of the bigger one and older ones, uh, the, the trees. But then we're gonna just turn back at home, and we have a beautiful, beautiful descent, uh, uh, roughly like a thousand meters of uh, negative elevation to do, which is gonna be absolute bliss because uh, yeah, the climbing was not easy. You don't have a lot of traffic outside Beirut, you know, and when you go out to the mountains, because Lebanon is a mountain country, you know, most of it is, is, a, is a mountain and the mountains are just, you, you have the sea and immediately you have a big mountain, then, then you have the plain of the Beka and you have a second uh, mountain. We are having like some typical like Lebanese 
breakfast. Um, we have a sort of like flatbread with some various toppings uh, on top. Um, we have uh, za'atar, which is like a mix of dried herbs. And then we have some sort of like meat with some tomato paste on top. And then we have some with some cheese. And uh, yeah, usually they have this for breakfast. Um, and uh, yeah, it's really, uh, my personal favorite is the one with cheese because yeah, like who doesn't like cheese? And uh, the one with the meat, I don't like it so much. I don't know, it tastes a bit funky. But uh, the one with the za'atar, which is like the mix of uh, dried herbs, it's uh, it's really good. It's really, yeah, vegan friendly, vegetarian friendly. So perfect for Josh as well. Stuff it. Don't near her. <laughs> I'm not doing this very well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. <laughs> it's not very circular, is it? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just go. Yeah, yeah. And that's why I love. Who's in? Yeah. Bravo. And then just take off. Yeah. Good. 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 <laughs> Today we're cycling down all downhill all the way to Byblos, which is the oldest continuously inhabited city in the world and is where the I think the name Bible came from. Um, but we're basically gonna go down there, go and see the sea, try and find some falafel and try and find some hummus. It's gonna be good. I think that's the the hottest I've ever been. Um, just going up that climb, I'm sweating so much. It's like being in a sauna that you can't get out of. So, Omar's currently in a shop grabbing us some cold um, beverages. Uh, but yeah, well deserved. And the downhill route um, turned out to have some pretty steep bergs in it. How are we feeling, Omar? That's disgusting climb. Rampas inhumanas. Uh, we had like two and a half k more or less of like a ramp, which was uh, I think constantly like 15 or 17 percent. So I met these two guys here today, and we're from Kura now, and they're going to Biblos. It's a long way to go. <laughs> they're for real. They are so crazy. I don't know how they are going to get it there.
You okay, Amal? Yeah, now we made it to Biblos Jubail, the new name Jubail. Uh, yeah, honestly, I have to say this was this was the hardest 64-ish k that I've ever done. Like no joke. I'm um, probably like the heat, the constant like up and down, up and down. That was really hard to like maintain a steady uh, effort. But uh, yeah, I'm happy we got it here in the end. And uh, now we're gonna take our time, uh, tour a bit the city, and then uh, yeah, eat, rest, and then we go again. <laughs> Biblos, the Bible, the book, is to the name of, in Europe, okay? Mm -hmm. In Arabic we don't say Bible, it is Taurat. In Arabic we don't say Bible, and the European say Bible in relation to Biblos. We're currently in Byblos and we're at the um, Roman Amphitheatre and there's a nice cool breeze which is quite nice after the heat we've had. We've had some hummus. What did you have? The I have uh, some like typical uh, Lebanese uh, cheese. It's called uh, chanclish which is a uh, goat cheese and usually it's uh, mixed a little bit with uh, olive oil and then some like bread. Happy boy. I didn't think I'd ride past the, the giant dealer in Lebanon. Uh, I think I had the total of uh, four bikes, four mountain bikes. But yeah, that was that was cool to see. with cheese, cheese, uh, cheese, uh, cheese inside, it's warm, we're in a really nice bakery and this is like the God's food. After like a really hard day, I feel like, yeah, it was really hard, way harder than expected, so, yeah, I think it's a well-deserved treat. Currently bike packing towards Tripoli and then tomorrow we're gonna meet Amar's uncle and he's gonna take us on a, a guided tour around Tripoli. So apparently there's some uh, dodgy bits but uh, uh, he'll take us around and make sure we, we don't get in any trouble. Yeah, and we are uh, well looked after. Yeah, very well looked after. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, heading to a lake and then on our way on a full bike packing setup to Tripoli.
We are currently cycling towards uh, a lake called uh, Oyu and Al Samak. Um, we are crossing now into a new province in uh, Lebanon called uh, Akkar. And uh, yeah, we can like, it's distinctively you can see that the landscape has changed a little bit and even uh, we hear more and more often uh, the Mujahideen calling for the prayer. So yeah, like we are now in a different uh, province, probably majority like Muslim. I was quite hoping for a bit of a dip because I'm absolutely dripping, I'm dripping in sweat. Um, but it's full of trash, um, so not ideal. And uh, yeah, I'd rather not grow an extra limb, so I think we'll uh, pass on that opportunity and just uh, stay very sweaty. Sad. What's the feeling, Omar? Yeah, it's a bit sad. Uh, yeah, I was kind of looking forward to it. It was a bit anticlimactic, but. Um, yeah, I think that's yeah, it's it's life. It's not always how it looks in uh, on photos and uh, all these sort of things. So. Well, in Lebanon, we have three Muslim groups: the Druze, who are an offshoot of the of the Shia. We have the Shia, the main Shia, uh, which are in Iran mainly, and the Sunni. As of the Christian, apparently there is 15 churches recognized here in Lebanon, mainly, mainly the Maronite, who are an oriental breed of Catholicism. All our churches in Lebanon are the, the archaic churches, the churches of the first century of Christianity, second century of Christianity. These are a Ch churches, these are ethnic churches, so it is the Assyrians Orthodox Church or the Assyrian Catholic Church. It is the Chaldean Catholic Church or the Chaldean Orthodox Church. We definitely have also the, the Americans since the 18th, 19th century sending missions to Lebanon. So we have some Protestantism in Lebanon. You know, Tripoli, I mean, if you, if you take the Latin etymology, three polis, three cities. In fact, the old town itself, which is just the souk where we roam now, not uh, where there is buildings when we drove the, where we drove the car. All this is modern. So this old souk is the old Tripoli. The, I mean, there were some, some houses uphill, which is called al kubbe al kubbe means dome, just because it's a raised uh, hill. And then the city by the seashore called Elmina. Elmina means port. So the three of them constitute Tripoli. Tripoli, so the, the Tripoli of the, before the Crusaders and the Crusaders is the old souks here, that's why they made the fort here just adjacent to, to, the, to Tripoli.
pepper. What are the ingredients? Just potato and onion, uh, persil, yeah. and this uh, chickpea. Chickpea, yeah, and garlic. Yeah. It's my last day of cycling in Lebanon and me and Amar are heading up and over the mountain pass heading into the Bekar Valley and going to Baalbek which is the most stunning Roman uh, ruins and is where my uh, dad proposed to my mum so looking forward to this pilgrimage and uh, thanks them all for taking me yeah thanks for coming it seemed like centuries ago when the monks crossed the mountain to Malibu El Camino and a sip and tea eliminator thousand meters now and we're still climbing and we're 24k in but yeah it'll be probably another 10 to 15 kilometers of up and then we descend down to Balbec. top of the pass we're at 2657 meters above sea level and uh, we're about to descend into the Bekar Valley so we were in Christian territory um, over that side of the mountain and then this side of the pass is all uh, Muslim Is wrong. Uh, it's just uh, I felt like uh, my inner tube wasn't rolling enough, so I just, uh, just uh, you know, I just changed it to a new one. Here, Josh, uh, he's an impatient man, so it's like, yeah, every time I, this is only the, the second time I've, I've, I've uh, punctured, and every like, yeah, this time I'm already like faster than. Uh, I've already been faster than last time, but still, he's complaining nonetheless. Why, right, to help you last time? Yeah, last time you helped me. Yeah, now you're only complaining. <laughs> so perhaps you should go back to help me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, 
Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but uh, it's part of the of the life. Right, riding in Lebanon, I not, guess. Not the tubulous life. <laughs> not the tubulous life. Found some water. Some no, no water. We have found some uh, orangina, some dates, iced tea, iced tea, apple juice, apple juice. about 43 degrees and uh, we just I just couldn't hack it anymore so I just shouted to Amar and um, said let's get into this shop uh, get some water and get an ice lolly so um, luckily there's a fan as well so recover a little bit and then push on the last was it 5k to Balbec 5k to Balbec in the absolute first Pretty impressive, um, very stunning Roman ruins. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty cooked. <laughs> 80k and I'm I'm cracked, but I think 45 degrees was the highest you got to. Yeah, yeah. I think that that does it to you, um, especially when you're used to the UK weather and uh, it's not be gone above 20. <laughs> so uh, an extra 25 degrees is quite quite the jump. Yeah, great last day on the bike and. Uh, yeah, looking forward to explore Beirut tomorrow. Baalbek is a hotbed of Islamic fundamentalism. No doubt that's one of the reasons why there's not a great deal of people here. 